Hello and welcome to the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Class A Northern Conference in beautiful Bowl of Armour in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Paul Grant live on the ACST Facebook page. It's the number four seed out of Budwell's Bowling Center in Concord, New Hampshire. John Lascarbo on the black shirt taking on surging Bob L, the 13 seed coming in, 66 and 88. John coming in 98 and 84. 14 points on the line today, four points for total at the end. For each string, it's two points for a win, one for a tie. Bob is the home bowler, he'll bowl second. On lanes 13 and 14. We'll get underway now. For a five string format, 18 week season winding down. Summer ahead, summer behind. Playoffs start mid to late May. John Lescar, in a fine season. Big 10 4 win over Nate Lees yesterday. Nate Lees won the very first ever Atlanta Kennelpin Single Store Championship several years ago. Lescarbo. Starts off with a 6-10 right, 7 left. Please share with your friends and family this great game of Candlepin and Bowling. Nothing out there like it. Tough lead, but the wood could help. He just missed. Hello, Jeff Little watching the laser. Last year's Class C champion, now in Class B. Number 8 seed. Scarborough 10 to start the first of 5. Up. Beautiful 22 lane facility here. Book your birthday parties, corporate events. Bowlorama.com. B O W B O W B O W L O Rama. Bowl O Rama. R A M A. There's a bowl of Rama in Sanford, Maine. This is Bowl O Rama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. 1 2 8 10 for Scarborough. Case McCool, Indiana Jones watching. And a banana split will be on alert for Casey McCool today, who's always hungry. John has the one and the ten. Second box, first string. Just underway. The struggle of late it was up to 88, down to 88 and 80, but the big win yesterday against Nate Lees. Gives him a lock pretty much in the division right now. Just missed for a field goal. That's Nate Box. He's at 18 through two. John from Tilton, New Hampshire, a couple towns away from Laconia, New Hampshire, originally Salem, New Hampshire. He's a former 124 league bowler, very good bowler in his prime. Trying to get back up there, now bowling the Friday Night Pro League this year. Struggling there, which is a 107 average and change. And the league average is 111. But in the ACST, much better with the competition, 115.31, fifth in the average in the conference. Good second ball won't carry. This time he has the four seven ten. Miss Scarbo hits an eight. Twenty six through three. Jones in the same division as Cody Fifty, Chris Winniars, and Dino Dallas. Cody and Chris on the Lakeside Lanes, Dino Dellis, the son of the owner. And Budwell's Bowling Center in Concord, New Hampshire. Look at this leaf, 7 10. It's got a bunch of formation wood on the right, two or three pieces rolling around, seven left. Second head pin hit, second split. Wood makes it interesting. Good. Give it a ride, and some of the seven goes, the 10 does not. John the channel, that's a 9, 35 through 4 in the first. To join the Atlantic Candlepin single store, include the new Class E division, we're told, next season. Message Danny Finn, F I N N, the President, Commissioner, the Jack of All Trades. Danny Finn on Facebook Messenger only, F I N N. Wonderful job he does. Micah Imperato, keep up with the stats as well. All the treasurers doing a great oh, yeah. job. Oh, no. Scarrow. Scarborough gets rid of the 2-1 split. This time it's a 1-1 split. 4 in the 10. 3 splits and as many head pin hits. Obviously splits are based on head pin hits. If I give this one a ride. And good effort again. Falls short. You can't believe it. Open half. Trying to get to 45. And 
Red Hunt, Bob Allen, who threw a 396 last night in his league here at Bolarama in Portsmouth. Starts his first to five. It's John gets a nine, 44 half. Two balls respect each other greatly. That's the way it should be. And Bob will be on lane 14 to start. So they're switch, switching sides, 75 boxes. Sometimes they're on the same lane each the first half. Out on lane 14. Nice pocket shot. Bullseye. Spread eagle. One of the most frustrating shots in the game. For me, it's the half Worcester. Just saying. Well, there's a two-step sport. A couple steps back. Goes forward again. And nails the left side. What's coming back? It's the 10. Will it roll back? No. No kick off the wall. Barbara Darrell is the great owner here. Put in side walls in 2021, which gives it more action. And Bob gets an 8, so he's down 2, box to box, up against a 44 half. He's put a lot of close matches this year. He lost by 8 to Ryan Southall in the first match of the season. He lost 2 matches by 8 pins, 1 by 15. He's also won a match by 10. And he's bowled above average against some of the good bowlers. On the crossover, it is going to be 7. He has the 3, 5, and the 10. A little mini split. Thanks for watching. Please share. Hello, Barry Redgate. Thanks for watching. Yeah, a lot of action this week. For a spare, just hooked left. We match tonight with Brian Patton. Scott Brazier has been postponed due to injury. No double, no date, no date. I double headed today. Bob gets a 10, and we're tied 18 apiece. It's the Friday Night Pro League game of the week tomorrow night on Candle and Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Bob Lee and myself will travel to Extra Lane and shoot a sports club. Number two seed Extra takes on Dave Hodge Malian's Academy 3. 730 start live on Candle and Bowling Network, week 28 to 35. Playoffs Sunday, May 21st at Central Park Lane's East Boston Mass. San Diego's Battle of the Sexes here in Portsmouth at 10 a.m. Friday Night Pro League playoffs that day, also 10 a.m. Bob, one, three, six, the five behind the one. Makeable spare chance. And just missed left. Would have made that last night. No marks yet for either bowler. It's early. 11.45 start time. He gets a nine. Oh, it's a nine last box, not a ten, so it wasn't tied because one came out of the channel. So it's 17 through two, now nine. Now we're tied 26 through three. We get that right. Beautiful ball, strike bid nine. Third hit been it, and for a change, no split. Third makeable spare chance. Been locked and loaded of late. A spare to take the lead. And he's all over it. 45 and a ball. 35, uh, correction, 35 and a ball through four. Tied right now. Anything for the lead. Up against a nine box. No relation to Dan O'Brien Allen. My ballad on the bonus. Beautiful the football again. Nine again. One of that strike. This time the four leaves up. Big 19 fill. Nine box. Could fix that score there. Spare. And he missed that one right. Too far right. Just a bit outside. And Allard missed left for a nine. So 44, uh, 45 through four, a nine, 53 up, up nine. The difference is a spare nine. Yeah. Oh. 
Steve Poulins in the house. How you doing, Steve? Hi, everybody. You won, you won that lemon drop pool last minute? Do you win the lemon drop pool? I'm, I'm earning my way to be the champion of the lemon drop pool. You get, a, you get, the, get, the, other, you get the coveted trophy, right? I'm working at it. I'm working at it. Are you going to do the Candlepins for Cancer roll-up in Sanford? Uh, yes, I'll be there. It's online now, CandlepinsForCancer.com. Candlepins number four, Cancer.com. It's any person can bowl. doesn't matter if you're in previous line. This is mixed finals, top five, but individual roll-offs, men and women, separate roll-offs, but we combine the top five men and women afterwards, like last year. So second annual mixed step ladder, CandlepinsForCancer.com with a four. Oh, yeah. Donations available also via Venmo. That's Candlepins number four, Cancer.com. Bowlers, helping bowlers going through cancer treatments in the Candlepin community. Bobby Allen will now take a seat, and Sean Scarborough goes to lane 14. Danny Finn, the commissioner, watching. I, I don't know all your titles, Danny. Commissioner, president, jack of all trades. Now John gets a nine, so that's three nine drops in a row combined. His fourth head pin hit. Three splits already. Not this time. Wood could be a problem. Not rolls away. It's better news. Must stop by International Kenneth Malone Association or ICBA rules before you throw the ball. For a spare. No. Get right to that pin. Wood's never guaranteed. Missed opportunity. And a couple of good cut shots early did not go for spares either. And that's a Paul Grant special. First one today. Missed the second. Make the third for a 10. 54 through 6 in the first of 5. Class D in its first year. Class C in its second season. Justin Waters. Waters World won the fight title in Class A last year. Ken Isdale, Class B. Jeff Little, Class C. The Scarborough, beautiful ball. It's a... Well, oh, a looks like a banana split for Casey McCool. Ended up with a 9 drop. It's so like Bobby gets back to back nine drops. And this time he gets it. First mark of the match. 64 and a ball through seven. He was down nine at the half. Correction, Bob's at 55, which will have to score correction, so Bob's up 11 at the half. 1, 2, 6, 9, 10. On the spare, 5. 69 through 7. The Scarborough out of Concord, New Hampshire. Oh, wow, wow, what a shot for a spare. He gets two in a row. 79 the ball through 8 in the first of 5. Like, follow, subscribe, ACST Facebook page, and the YouTube channel as well. John, spread eagle. Fourth split and six head pin tries. Back to back. Spare fills of five and four. 83 through eight. Tough leave. And it makes the most out of it. And almost got that one. I've only seen three of those last couple of days made. Wow. Try. John gets the 10. That's a pro bowling on an eagle. 93 through 9. Could use another mark. So Bob has one spear, nine. John has two spears combined for nine pins. You could say that's pretty much the difference. Fourth seed in the conference. John did, takes down five. One, two, four, seven. The eight wiggling behind the two. Please share with your friends and family this match. Invite your friends to bowl. Can from bowling. Nothing like it. John wraps around. Almost got the seven. Wouldn't go. Again, three or four times. He's been so close. Trying to get to 103. Which he does. It could have been a lot better, he knows, but he made some great cut shots, didn't go. Will that be enough? Bob Ballard now goes to lane 13. Here in beautiful Bolo Rama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, on Route 1. 
He's at 55 halves in a spare nine in the fourth. So I need a mark to win. Does need 49 though. Mark would certainly help. And a nice crossover shot. Breaks the diamond. He has the three, five, the nine behind the three. Five for six in the head pin. Two splits so far. And this is not an easy leave. And look at that one. Somehow right between the eyes. The five and nine. Too accurate. Got a great roll of late. Bob Allard. That's an eight. 63 through six. Puts up nine. Box to box. Now needs four tens to tie for one point. A mark to win for two points. Anything less. John on the road gets the first two. Five string match. Allard. Six and a ten. Bob coming in. The improving average of 111.09 out of Division 3 North. 140 high single in the ACST season. 580 high five. Nice second ball. Release up the 5-8-9 triangle. Five in the middle. Eight left, nine right. A nice shot there for a 10. Big pins. 73 through 7. Keeps me contention for a tie without a mark. Must get three tens. Nice shot there. Two pinner is the two left, five right. Makeable spare chance for the fifth time. It's made one so far out of four. And that wooden front makes it interesting now. It's hoping it rolls away. And that's going to have to somehow pound through that. And he got it! Excellent shot! A chance to win the string. 83 to ball through 8. That was not an easy one. He battled John Winchell, the number one seed earlier, had the lead late in the, in the going to that final string and lost the match, but took six points out of 14. Another good bonus ball. It's nine again. Second nine, fill the mid string. 92 through eight. It's going to win the string. For another one. Bang! He has the first two points. Got to fix that scoreboard again. So it should be 102 and a ball in the ninth, which it is. 102 and a ball. Is that not mistaken? Yep. So actually, it hasn't officially won yet. So it just needs one pin to clinch. Allard wins the first. He gets six in that one. One eight, right side, six ten. Not happy with that shot. Fills of nine, nine and six. Well above the pro average of Class A bullets without wood of six point, well, obviously without wood and spares and strikes. Six point five on spares, eight point three in strikes. And nothing doing there. He's at 108 through 9, trying to get to 118 somehow. An excellent shot. Got two for an eight. 116, first string for Bob Allard. He wins it by 13, a baker's dozen. And both balls had chances to get more, but a win is a win is a win. And John will start a second string. This is the Atlantic Candlepin Singles to a matinee Thursday from beautiful Portsmouth Bullorama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Paul Grant live on the ACST Facebook page. Thanks for watching.
please share with your friends and family. We'll put the scores on the screen after each string. Like that. I'm going to show it more in just a moment as the Scarborough takes down five. Let's show it real quick again. And we'll put the score on the side in just a moment. On the side of the two club. Great shot. Oh, he will go. Maybe. No. The piece of wood got in the way. That may have gone. Another close call. No dice. It's about four now. He's got robbed on. And nothing doing there for a nine. Here's the first string officially. Bob 116. The 13 seed. Trying to fight for a playoff spot. Still is an outside shot. John 103, the fourth seed. Put 13 there. John also a 10 pin bowl. It bowls Tuesday nights in 10 pin. Spins left. One, three, six in front, eight in back on the left. Explosive bowler. Another good shot. That won't go. What's wrong with that? That is not my writing, Kevin Burns, by the way. That is Bob and John. I own my award winning chicken scratch when I do it. The Scarborough gets a 10, 19 through 2 in the second of 5. Week 1 against Dino Dellis at Concord and Butwells. He lost by 2, then lost by 4, then won by 4. That third string, he won 142 to 138. Then ended up with a 135 and a 131. The 626. Oh, Only three there. And match three against Chris Winnie. Uh, another match he had earlier. He had a 655 against Chris Winnie. A 135, 149, 139. Oh, and 138 finish. Really? Another good try there. After a 94 start, 135, 149, 139, 138. A 655 performance on Canlip Bowling Network on YouTube. The back three of 426 in the final four of 551. Not too shabby. Eight that time. 27 through three. Just lost a string. Number one seed John Winchell uh, earlier this season. 147 to 130. Did beat Mike McIntosh 3.0 in a 10-4 win. 144 to 131. He does some big strings. He's won in some big strings. He's lost. He has control of his division. We'll go with the division leaders next string. And the wild card and the playoff scenarios in the third string. Currently 98 and 86 after losing that first. 116 and 103. The Scarborough, nice pocket shot. Another spread eagle. And this time the nine is beyond the three. Second spread eagle. Bob had one in the first also. Chops out the six. Six left. No, Kevin, no, it's not my handwriting. I take responsibility for my screw ups and my chicken scratch. John, oh, big out there. He'll take an eight, maybe a nine. Eight it is. Still wants to go. Make up my mind. Wiggling and wobbling. John's not waiting. It, it doesn't want to hit that reset button just yet. Come on down, he says. He won't go. He gets a smile on his face. Very stoic, usually. 35 through four here in a second. Had no marks in the first half, the first string. No marks here to start the second in the first four. Explosive, explosive bowler. Crossing over is 3 6 10, spare opportunity. Just a second hit pin hit this string. Third makeable spare chance, one for two in the first. And too far right. Okay, cool. a 44 half in the first string. He has a 44 half here with a nine box in the second. 
Bob Aldo at 55 half to start the first string. Had a 61 half in the second to take it 116 103. He starts his second string of five on lead 14 here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Again, this new sidewalls in 2021 by Bar Madero's. Keep the lanes in great condition. Tons and tons, I mean, tons of arcades here. And they book birthday parties like no other. A lot of venues like Millis and other places, obviously, a lot of birthdays also, but boy, they are packed here on weekends. You want it up. You want it 1479. Well, up gets a 44 half. Nice ball, and it just didn't quite get the nine. Another great try. Both bulls making the best of tough leaves. That one got away for a nine. So a tied box to box. Bob's with 13 in the match. <laughs> Bob out of Division Three North. He's had four strings of in the 130s, 137, 136, 133, 130, and a 140 season high early this year. The two matches he lost by eight pins was Ryan Southall, Glennis McKinley. Has a bundle of six left here. Very deceptive 13 seed bowling like a playoff contender lately. Except one of the seven. Same division as Troy Fournier, Ryan Southall, and JT Justin Lyonese. Ryan the ninth seed right now. Trying to get in that final spot or two. Allard had been it for a nine. 18 through two. Now one in the swing up, 12 of the match. Ah, Fought through a 580 gets Mike McIntosh 3.0 and still lost by 27. Good job, Mike McIntosh 3.0 is doing the kids program Academy Lanes, Hub 125, April Mass. Every Wednesday, 3.30, 90 minutes to two hours of instructional bowling. It's working out really well. Josh Daly and others helping out. So great job. Keep it up, guys. One, two, nine. Wood to help for a spare. And he gets this time. Nine goes. 28 to ball through three. Leads the string. Leads the match. Three for seven. And makeable spare chances in the match. Fourth spare overall. Kills with nine, nine, and six in the first. And that was a big difference. He runs a Wednesday Night League here. It's a lemon drop trophy, which Steve Pullen is going to win, I think. Right, Steve? Dan Gray, ACST D bowler, won it first half. So Steve's very good about it. Between me and my brother. Between you and your brother, Dave Pullen. I don't think his father, uh, Mike Pullen, would get that, would he? No. No. He covers his ears to hear. Mike Pullen, future Hall of Famer, I believe, should be eligible. Allen on the bonus. Beautiful ball. It is nine. Nine and three quarters. Going, going, going. Not gone. How close can you get? His third nine spear fill. Thirty-seven through three. Two piece of wood in front. Got it. Forty-seven the ball through four. John had a forty-four half, so Bob pushing that lead up in the twenties, maybe thirties. Bob on lane fourteen here in New Hampshire, in Portsmouth. Steps back, goes forward, pocket shot again. It's a check mark. Five middle, two four seven left. Spear three marks in a row. Going for now. Spear nine, spear six. 53 through four. Off the wall. This time the seven won't go. A little more inside. We have gone. 
Valid. Keeps on the lanes. That's good. 10. 63 half. Up 19 in the string. He has his biggest lead in the match. 32 and a surprise. Fine, hit him. On paper, anyway, but he's been red hot of late. Fighting for his life for a playoff spot. Still a long way to go, but never said he was plenty of matches left. John Lescarbro now. Trying to get his first mark of the second string. Hit a spear five, spear four in the first. Gets a nice crossover shot. It's a setback shot. Five middle, four seven left. Does have two pieces to work with. Three for six in the head pin, second split. Only one for three, a makeable spare so far. And with the wood, this should be a makeable spare chance. And this time he gets it. Here we go. 54 and a ball through six in the second string of five. Barry's seen tons of spread eagles <laughs> this year. Hundreds. Scarborough, beautiful ball, crossing over, it's eight. Wood charging the four, but takes a wrong turn. And let's see if we can kick it over somehow. Four and the ten on the spare, eight. 62 through six. Now the wood rolls away. Now this is going to be interesting. He's got to somehow get that ten pin and slice that wood barely and send it over to the four pin. This will be amazing. Oh, he got it! Incredible shot! One of the best shots of the year! Wow! Talk about precision bowling! What a shot by Lescarbro, the fourth seed. 72 and a ball through seven. Magnificent! Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. Takes advantage. Eight. Five right, eight left. Back to back spear eights. 80 through 7 here in the second. He's going for three in a row. Wood must stop by rule. Probably myself tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Exter, number two seat takes on Dave Hodge Malians, Academy 3 on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube in high def. Friday Night Pro League, game of the week. Lascaro, three in a row. And John's bowling like John here in the second. Ninety in a ball through eight. On the fill, mock and shut again. This time it's eight again. Seven falls down. Two left, five right. Spear eight, spear eight, spear eight. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight through eight. The four in a row. Yes. Go. No one. Bob cheering him on. 108 in the ball in the ninth. After a 44 start in five. Tail of two halves. And this time it is seven. And look at this leave. Ugly leave. Look at this. Brutal. Seven, eight, ten. Wood coming out of play. Let's see if it rolls back in. What a funny game. 44 without a mark. He's at 115 through 9. That's 71 in his last four. And that wood will be out of play. Bob will have to remove that wood. In some ways, wish it was in play because he could use it as a boomerang. And if he can take this one down, I think the ceiling will collapse. He thought that shot he made for the spare earlier, the 10 go with the wood going to the four was a great shot. This would be insane. What a turnaround by Lescarbro, who lost the first. 116-103. Bob has a 63 half. Up next. Fun to watch. Oh, he almost got it! Wow, the ball of the wood rolled right by the eight. That would have been remarkable. Wow. Once again, 
about six or seven or eight close calls for Marks. It didn't quite go. And not an easy shot that was. He gets nine. 124. Second string in 80. Half. 227 through two for the number four seed, John Lascarbo out of Butwells in Cockney, New Hampshire. Yeah. Here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Bobby Allen, the home bowler, will need a big half. We'll need 63 the first here. We'll need a 62 half to work 4 nothing. Two marks. Could get it done. Halfway through the string. Box to box up 19. Ethan humming the ball too. He has five spare fills. Three in the first, two in the second. The fills are nine, nine, six in the first. Nine and six here in the second. So he's got a full house on his spare fills. He goes to lane 13. Watch your broadcast later today on Kenneth Mowing Network on YouTube in high definition, always free, never a charge. Over 1,000 videos and climbing, semi photo pro action. Please subscribe to Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube. Allen, then hit, 4 2 split. Bob, 3 for 6 in the head pin. This string. Nice shot. Got the four to go. The seven does not go. That looked like I was going to get much out of that one. What a fun match. But missed right. Wrong piece of wood for nine. 72 through 6. Curly up 10 in the string. 23 in the match. He's up against a hurricane of four marks in a row. He's up against the second mark of four now. Only two marks and four boxes to win the string. Nice pocket shot. A check mark. I've seen this before already. 2, 4, 7 left. 5 to the right. Bob Lee, would you call us a makeable spare chance? It's not easy. Got the five, got the hard one out of the way. Two, four, seven. Allen flips left. We're in eight, eighty through seven. Trying to fix that scoreboard. Oh, there it is. Okay, fixed. All right. So right now we are tied box to box. But he's up against a 124 string. John Lascarbo goes crazy with four marks in a row. You know, almost a near perfect tap at nine box in the tenth. Four spares at nine box. Gallad spins not eight, and that five won't go. That would could possibly help. Three splits and 12 boxes in the match. Going for the ricochet. For the spare. No. Needs two marks. Final two boxes. Heading into the third. Just missed for nine. 89 through eight. Needs 35 for one point, 36 for two points, anything less. We're tied two points apiece. And without a mark, Lascarpo will take the lead in the match with three strings to go. Nice ball there. I'm spread eagle again, plus the eight. Barry Redgate saying that Bob Medeiros told him to go for the pocket. One three, the one two pocket to avoid the spread eagle. Brought a terrific bowler, former. President's Cup winner also. Bob just missed the object pin. The two has the three, six, ten, the right. And now needs a double strike to win the string. Two excellent bowlers putting on a show so far. Not the highest scoring, but very competitive. And a lot of great cut shots just missing. Seven that time. 96 to nine. Needs 28 to tie. 29 to win. Ryan Hogan, thanks for watching. 
Allen with a strike. He doesn't get it. John has tied it two points apiece. And Bob needs a mark to keep his lead in the match. And plenty of time left. Seven, eight, ten. Second sing in a row, seven head pinnits. High splits. So he needs that wood for a spare. Wrong side of the wood. Needs one at least here to get to 107. He's at 98 through 9 coming in. 98 through 9, trying to get to at least 107. 9 it is. So 107, again, very deceptive string. Well, there should be a 9, right? Well, wow, that's nine blocks. So we'll fix that scoreboard from 108 to 107 for Bob. Let's we'll see 107 for Bob. Nine blocks. We get two wrong. All right, we we'll get two wrong. Is it fixed around? So it's 105, correct? Yeah. All right, 105 is confirmed. Official score. So John Liscarbro out of Budwells in Cockney, New Hampshire, here in Portsmouth, lost the first. 116, 103. He takes the second. 124 to 105. He now takes a six pin lead in the match. A 19 pin swing. Two down, three to go. Here are the first two. Look at that half by John Lascarbo. Bob outdid him in the first, those spare nines. And through two strings. Uh, that is 240. Something's wrong there. Uh, they got the scores backwards there. John is the 124. Okay. So they got, we'll fix that score. Get it, they got it backwards, the official score sheet. Now John will start his middle string. Never too late to get a Candlefin gift card here at Portsmouth, New Hampshire, or your local bowling center. Help get kids, family involved, youth especially, the elderly as well. We have a 76 year old bowler in Budwells and Concord Bowling since September for the first time. Never too late to start Kenneth and Bowling, a sport for all ages, and yet another spread eagle. He's got the nine also. Same spot. Can you put, can you put the match sheet out here too? Plus difference. Two. Six. And six. Audrey Penn, ouch, a tough four, brutal. Welcome to Kenneth Bowling. <laughs> Has an 80 half. He starts off with a four box. If you can figure this game out, please let us know. So here's the official scores now after the update. Bob won the first. John wins the second. He's up six, 227, 221. But going golfing here in the first box of the four. Nice ball there. He's got the setback lead. Five middle, four, seven left. Unofficially 13 head pin hits, unofficially 9 splits. And he's made about 7 shots, it didn't quite go over spares. That's not an easy leave, Wood out of play. Let's go over the division leaders right now. First of all, John Winchell, number 1, 133 and 49. The freight train, Joey List of 130 and 66. John's a match behind though, so John can get the lead as much as 17 points. Troy Fournier, 107-89. On the Budwells, that's what's John Scarborough, 98 and 84. John, right now, 186 up to date. The wild cards, Bruno Bruja de Feo, former Channel 5 bowler, fifth. As John picks up for a 10, 14 through 2 here in the middle string. So Bruno, 106 and 76. Nate, uh, Mike McIntosh now sixth, 86, 68. Nate Lee's seventh, 78 and 62. And Logan Jingus is up from fifth recently to eighth at 106 and 90. Ryan Southall, 88-94. Glennis McKinley, 75-93 and in the outside edge of the playoffs right now. As is Bob L, the 13th seed. Ronnie Link, senior, thanks for watching. Great guy up in Maine, a big 20. See April 13th for the top five mini doubles live show. Greg Guillard, myself, on Canada from Long Network and later on on the WON Sports Network. Saturday, April 13th, 11 a.m. Big 20, Route 1, Scarborough, Maine.
Can't open for cancer fundraising event. John, what a shot for a spare. Outstanding. 24 and a ball through three. That's going to make up for a four and a ten start. Seven spares in the match. The number four seed. Just missed the pocket. Lucky to get eight. There's a two and four go. It's the one seven. Makeable spare chance in a sense, but that would possibly help. 32 through three, above the minimum now. Up the wall, got the wood to go. Could it be four in a row again? He's got two in a row now. 42 in a ball through four. That's why you never give up after bad starts. Some people check out mentally. It's hard to do. But that's how you do it, folks. Since that fourth box, perfect. Ten, two spares. On the bonus, head pin it. A clipped wing eagle. Spare eight, spare five, 47 through four in the third. Just missed the option pin to three, the two, four on the left. Try to get two here for a 56 half. Which he does. So halfway through his match, it's 2 2 in the points. Bob won the first by 13. John won the second by 19. John's up six in the match. What's happening over there? This is the Atlanta Candlepin singles to a Class A Northern Conference. Butwell's bowling center, John Lescarbro, and Bowl Arama here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. is Bob Allen. Here in beautiful Bowl Arama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, in Route 1. Allen crossing over. It is eight. Seven won't cooperate. Six right. 70% on the head pin, the first two strings each. That's a six split of the match on 15 head pin hits. He's surveying that wood. With the wood. Oh, so close. Wood rallied behind the nine. The six, rather, wouldn't go. Hit, hit, the, hit the nine spot. But not the six. And Bob cleans it up with a ten to start his middle string. That gives him a six pin lead in the string. And how many times has it said that the last three years? The match is tied. Tied in the match. That's like a spare difference, you could say. Ten four. We got a convoy. Bob ten. John four. CC McCall. I'm dating myself here. Big hit in the seventies. John knows that song. We got a muddy convoy. 1710. The Augusta Maine special, I call it the Great Bowling Center, Augusta Maine. Close to one of the Pro Series when Nick Norcross got a 2 0 1 earlier this season. That's where Tim Douglas and Brittany Underwood won the Pro Series mixed doubles. Brittany winning a first Pro Series title. Oh, what a shot that was for a spare! The wood helped. The old Channel 5 high low jackpot, 20 to ball through two. Now we can take the lead in the match. Anything on this? Six spears in the match for the 13th seed. And Lady's bowling like he's in the top four. Right in the nose. No split this time. Yes, as the six goes, the 10 goes. Two, four, seven, spare chance. 27 through two. <laughs> Excellent fills all day long. Another one. He goes back to back. 37 of the ball through threes. Ever gets a 56 half, 62 to tie the match. Two half strings to go after this half. Very different style. Goes forward, goes backwards, goes forward. It's the pocket. It's in parallel time like Dark Shadows. 4 7, 5 8 middle, 10 right corner. That's his lowest fill of 5. That puts him up to 42 through 3. So he gives him a 10 pin lead in the string, a 4 pin lead in the match. Up against a spare 8 here in the fourth box, third string. 
Will he use the wood? Let's see. I think he will. I want to go a little more right, I think. Love his antics when he missed the shot. So colorful. Character. Great guy. Great bowler. Eight. Fifty through four. He's up three in the string. He's down three in the match. Up against a nine. It's a former as a high single of 191. His best season average ever for the whole season is 116. It's high single 191, high triple 442, high five 676, a high 10 of 1286. 1247. I'm locked to take the lead in the match. Pushed right. So jump up a single digit lead for the second half of the match. In a terrific battle. Four versus 13. Like March Madness. Starting today, alley at six, 56 half. So we're tied in the string. John's up six in the match. I don't know. Actually, she'll stay in lane 14 here. The Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class A, Northern Conference from beautiful, clean, Bowl-O-Rama, Ports New Hampshire, bowl o -Rama .com for birthday parties, lane reservations, corporate events, wedding venues as well. Always a great time. Route 1, Ports New Hampshire, bowl o -Rama .com. One, two, seven, Shenanigans Restaurant here also. Excellent pizza. Excellent service. Great people. The whole staff here, wonderful. One, two, seven for spare. Yes! Fourth head pin hit. Three splits. No problem. 66 in the ball through six. Second half underway. I'm sorry. I missed the head pin hit. That was not a head pin hit. Head pin leave. My mistake. Said it wrong. One of the two. So not a head pin hit. I just look at the wrong. I was looking at the wrong screen. But he takes advantage of an eight fill, seventy four through six, and he missed that chance. So four head pin hits unofficially. Four hit, four six in the head pin now, and that's a ten. Eighty four through seven, the third of five. Yeah, Bob. Bob, keep me in check here. I missed that call, so my bad on that one. Not a head pin hit, obviously. On the crossover, it's eight. Make it nine as the eight cooperates. Six right. Now that's a head pin hit. I know what a head pin is, Bob. I just said it. I just said it wrong. My mouth's in the future, my brain's in the past. For a spare. He's got it. Two for three in single pins for spares in the match. The number four seed, 94, in a ball in the eighth. You gotta fix that spare, Bob. Spare. Two spares in the first, four in a row in the second, three here in the third. Head pin hit, eight, nine, almost a strike, hits the three. Back to back nine drops. One oh three through eight for another one. He's got it. Back to back in the second time this string. Here he goes again. One thirteen the ball in the ninth. This guy is good. Not as well known. A league bowler most of his life. Bowling over forty years, watch on channel five with his grandmother. Won league titles. High average in this league, five years in a row. There's a strike bid, nine. Thought he had it. Third, nine drop in a row, sizzling here in Portsmouth. 122 through nine. For three in a row, he gets it. 132 and a ball in the 10th. What a performance by John Lescarbro. He loves the second half.
Another hit, been hit. It is eight again. Nine, nine, eight, three spears in a row. A masterful string, 140 for the number four seed, John Lascarbro. Go in the right direction, 103, 124, 140. And once again, Bob Allen goes up with another tough string. They're tied at the half, 56 apiece. John's up six in the match. But Bob's up against a big, big half again. And John, another solid half. He had 80 half in the second string and 84 half here in the third. Great bowling. Class A Northern Conference. And how about the Southern Conference? Waters World, Justin Waters, Josh Daly in a dogfight. Waters up two in the standings. Billy Sean is senior third. The Rocky have Woodside fourth. In the Southern Conference, also the wild cards out there. Sean Taylor in in a division, same division as Waters. Jeremy Seaholm sixth. Tim Douglas, the Tornado. Pro Series Bowl, he is seventh. And the Terminator, Charlie Collins, the eighth seed. What a battle that's going to be in the playoffs. Alex Paul Westman in the post. Not a bad idea, Bob. <laughs> Alec Respear raised the head pin. Well, sometimes I'm looking down, look at the notes, trying to get the stats, correct the scores. I miss a shot sometimes. Bob, seven. Not pitting as well this string. 63 through six. He's chasing a 140. Superb string by John Lascarbro. Two strings after this. Very energetic electric match. Allard, half west of two in the eight. It's getting away from him. Top averages in the conference. Joey Lister, 119.13. The freight train, number two in the conference. In standings, number one in the average. John Winchell, number one in the standings. 118.80, second in the average. Allard, here you go, Casey McCool, our first banana split. Troy Fournier, 118 and change average. Mike McIntosh, 3.0, 116.32. John Lescarbro, fifth here today in average, 115.31. Another seven. Just not the same, this string. 70 through seven. At a spare seven, spare five in the second and third. But since then, eight, six, seven, seven. Just missed the pocket, a spare chance, one, three, six. Just three head pins to the string, hit seven each in the first two. Could use this mark. Out the wall! Oh, you're gonna be kidding me! Wow! John Lescarbo saying, What? Wow. Tough sledding. Nine. The pin's still shaking its boots. Pin said it will take care of that. Nine. 79 through eight. Five straight without a mark. Pretty much needs to strike out to win the string. One, two, six, ten, and John Lascaros won the strings up four points to two. Lost by 13, won by 19, a huge 140 third. The coach Lane Britton here will see Lane on Saturday, probably a double header. Talk about it in just a moment. Oh, what a shot that was. This time it goes. Excellent shot by Bob Allard, 89 of the ball through nine. Third spear of the string. Three in the first, two in the second, three here in the third. And no strikes so far today. No strikes yesterday. B match with Paul Mativia and Tony Levesque, the magic man. On the crossover, nine. That's his fourth nine spill. Nine, nine, Phil. He spilled nine four times in the match on bonuses. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight through nine. Could use this one. He missed it. The channel no good. A nine. 107, second string. John Lascarbo, 140, 107. 
a 39-pin lead just like that in the match, a 52-pin turnaround since the first. Plenty of time left for Bobby Al to catch up. That puts Bob at 328. And John Lescabro all the way up to 367. And we start our fourth string. The Atlantic Canopin Singles Tour Class A Northern Conference Bowl Orama Boys for New Hampshire, bowlorama.com to bowl, book a birthday party, corporate event, or any occasion. Great ownership in the Bart Mary Lynn Medeiros. Great staff and great food at shenanigans. The Scarborough crossing over. Spare chance to start the fourth, three, six, ten. We'll put the scores up on the screen after this box. Now to each string. Miss the object pin to three. Good luck, John. Thank you. <laughs> Candlepins <laughs> 4 cancelcom the register, okay? Candlepins number four cancelcom for the Sanford Rollox, a 10 for La Scarborough. Mike Poulin's dropping by for a while. He has the score is the third string. John has been electric the last two. Four to five marks, four in a row in that second. 264, the last two. I'll we'll show in just a moment. Pocket shot is eight. Two in the four. Spare chance show real quick. The first three strings. Bob, John, and John. 367, 328. Favorless garble. Just missed left. The object pin is the two. Still there. John gets a 10, two tens to start the fourth of five. Sadly, it's Class D, Chris Curley slumping from fifth to eighth recently. Takes on Veronica McAllister, 10 o'clock live, Wi-Fi pending, Academy Lanes Pub 125 this Saturday, March 23rd, on the ACST Facebook page. The second match, the coach, Lane Britton, hosting number seven, Eric Sikowski, five o'clock from Riverwalk Lanes, Mainsbury, Mass., also on the ACST Facebook page, 10 o'clock and five o'clock, Saturday, March 23rd. Hit the like and follow button. Get notified when we go live. 4 2 split. Try to go 2 and a 4. Got one. And he gets a 7. A rare 7 today, you could say. 27 through 3. The way Boston Bowling lately, 39 pin lead is not safe for John Lescarbro. Nice pocket shot. It's a triangle. The going rate without wood is about 45%, give or take, for Class A bowlers. Without wood, stats by Canada from Bowling Network. Two middle, four left, five right. Four hit and hits, and a spare. On the board here in the fourth, 37 of all. Two four. The Scarbo, just four that time, 41 through four. Against playoff teams so far this season, John is 42 and 56. Oh. Almost got that one, good try. His home record is 60 and 38. His away record, 38 and 46. It's a 10. 51 half. He's struggled next against John Winchell and Logan Jingrass. Just 4 and 24 in Exeter. Bob starts his fourth string on lane 14 at Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Great place to bowl and hang out. Great food, great people at Shenanigans. Down 39 in the match. Winning the first by 13. Losing by 19, losing by 33. And there's that Barry Redgate, Bob Lee, Spread Eagle, plus the eight. Multiple of these today we've seen. Bob, there goes your ratio again. Don't work on this jam. Got two. 
Nothing like the great game at Canop Mall. And get the word out, folks. Canop and Gift Card's a great way to get people into the centers. And the youth is the future. Nice out. Take a nine. Down one in the string. Down 40 in the match. Biggest lead for Lascar, bro. John, just a regular house bowler for years and years doing it. Anything like this for the first time. And now in the Friday Night Pole League as well. And now that's almost a spread eagle. Broke up the clip wing eagle. He has the two on the left, three, six, ten on the right. He's got some wood to possibly spin over. Two head pins in the string, two splits. Split city all day. And oh, how did that not go? How did that not go? Unbelievable. Bob gets the 10. 2019 down one of the string. He had 100 kids here this morning between 10 and 11 o'clock bowling. Place is always filled with activities. And great, great owner of Bart Mary Lemaderos. Brought on Channel 5 in the past. Bob trying to work his magic. He's been red hot of late. Like I said, through a 396 last end of his league. But John Lascar has come to life in the second, third. John had a 51 half. Yeah, Bob is at 19 through 2. 14 split. Not feeling the confidence he had been earlier. Probably the road gets tougher at Nate Lee's versus Cody 50 at Dino Dallas in Concord, and then his division. Same spot. John Discover plays Ryan Self on Riverwalk Lanes in his division. Which was Cody 50, Chris Woody, as Dino Dallas. And the same thing a tough floor, brutal. John had a four box to start. That second string and did okay with the 124. Bob 26 through 3, down one in the string. Twenty-three, Matt, make correction. Twenty-three through three. Down four. Score correction. So he's down 27-23. Biggest deficit 43. Bob hosting Battle of Sexes here at May 21st, 10 a.m. Former Navy officer over 24 years, resumed bowling in 2011. The 106 average at age 15 in the league. Glossing over is a check mark. 5 middle, 3 6 10 right. Played all sports growing up except for golf and tennis. That's the five. Played baseball, softball for the Navy. They also played hockey, basketball, football, and soccer growing up. Now at eight, 31 through four. He's a big 20 that's high. The spring. It's down four points to two. The 64 year older needs some marks. Just three. Struggle home this year, 22 and 48 coming into today, 44 and 40 away from Portsmouth. And he's two and two wins and four losses today. Two and a six. And a nice out nine, just a 40 half though. He's down 11 to string. And John has a 50 pin lead in the match. A 63 pin turnaround since that first. Bob frustrated. So good of late, too. But it happens.
the fourth seed in the conference, John LaScarbro. Up 51 to 40. Halfway through the fourth. Pocket shot. 9 10 strike. As the six goes last behind the back. That's the first strike for either bowl in the match, believe it or not. Five for six and a head pin. 61 plus two through six. And again, a Barry Redgate, Bob Lee watching Spread Eagle. What a cruel game it is sometimes. Uh, grab four of the six, not bad. Eight in the fill. 69 through six. Leaves up the two and the four. Settles for nine. 78 through seven. Get a, sport, a spare four in the fourth. His spare fills five, four in the first. Eight, 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 and seven in the second. Eight, four, and eight in the third. Spare four, strike eight here in the fourth. Third string at eight, four, and eight on the spare fills. Comes back with the six, has the one, three, ten spare chance. Grab the three and the ten. The one comes back. He steals that one. Two stolen spares. Larceny here in Portsmouth. A range of fours. 88 and a ball through eight. Take them all you can. Check out the gift that keeps on giving, like candle and gift cards. Two gift spares. And he gets seven. Three, six right, four to the left. Seven for nine, the head pin, three splits. The spare seven, 95 through eight. And good try there. Had a bunch of leaves like that in the first, almost got it. Had like five or six, he missed the first couple of strings, so really close. Gets the 10 with the wood again. 105 through nine. He shakes his head, I can't believe it. Bob Allison, I need some of those lucks, some of that luck, those breaks. Hey, Terry Forks, thanks for watching with me again. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate the kind words. Beautiful ball strike number two on the string. Crushed it. Eight for ten, the head pin. Two spares, two strikes in the fourth. 115 plus two. And a strike, eight and the six, strike here in the ten. Another head pin hit. This time it is seven point five in the Richter scale. Trying to get to one twenty-five. We get a fifty-one out. Another strong half to finish. Again with the third string in a row. And a nice nine fill. One twenty-four for the fourth seed, John Lascarbro from Tilton, New Hampshire. And the 600 watches on. He's at 491 through four. So again, a great second half, a 73 half. He had 80 half to end the second, 84 half to end the third. A paltry, you could say, 74 half here in the fourth. Kenwood, thanks for watching. In Maine also. I'll be up there in Maine a lot next month, April 13th. For the Canopus for Cancer, any doubles, top five live show, 11 a.m. With Greg Guillard, myself on Canopus and Bowling Network on YouTube. Ballard crossing over. Four, seven left. Five, nine. To the right, middle right. Fourth head pin hit. Three splits here in the fourth. In the main APH, third weekend of April. At Archie Strike and Spear Parsonsfield, Maine. And also the main open. I'll be in Maine at Russ Neely Jr.'s. What, Jody Neely's? Stars and Strikes, South Paris, Maine. Live coverage on YouTube on Canopus and Bowling Network. Love going to Maine. Yeah, looking for an out. Same spot, six. 46 through six, throws his hands. And just missed a 400 last night, 396 in his league. Took 12 of 14 of Chris Winniars last week in the ACST in Manchester. 
Pocket shot, no split this time. Two, four, four goes. Two pin for a spare. Got to grab this one. Fifth nine drop of the match. He's made two of four so far. Wood in front could be a problem. Could he barrel through? No, he missed right. Can't believe it. And wasn't there for nine. 55 through seven in the fourth to five. John needs a mark out, needs a double to win. John Lescarbo can do it to you. Again, against Chris Winnie as he lost the first. 129.94 and won the match by 100 pins. Or 90, 91 pins, something like that. 91 pins. With a dozen four string finish of 561 is last four in that match. Again, on Candle Mowing Network on YouTube. 310 baby split for a spare. That won't go. He missed the object pin. He's missed his last five makeable spares going back to the third string. Now the nine. He's getting away. 64 through eight. Rebroadcast later today on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Hit that subscribe button. Always free. Get your friends to sign up. Over 1,000 videos. Over 2,500 subscribers. Kenneth and Bowling Network. Semi-pro and pro action. Great for the sport. A lot of bowlers love the coverage of B, C, and D. Getting their friends and family to bowl. And that's how they get better. Half Worcester. Both bowl is seven and seven this year. Strings by five pins or less. John one and one and one pin strings. John one and one and one pin strings. And John Lescarbo zero oh and one in one pin strings. Now yeah, look for a big finish here. Same spot. Oh, no. Left side to go. One six nine ten. John has won the third string in a row. He's up six points to two in the match. Has a commanding lead going to the final string. So Bob will be about getting four points. Unless he can get, get his high single at 191 or close to it. The way John's pulling. We need at least a 150 or 160. 140 is a season high. Nine that time, 73 through nine. Hard to win. You don't get a mark. Wobbling six right, won't go, two, four, seven left. S seven happiness, the s first, second, in third, uh, fourth rather, four in the third. This fifth split, the string. Excellent shot, it goes! On the board in the tenth. Try to get some confidence going to the fifth, 83 and a ball. Boy, he needed that one. Nine spares in the match. Final box, final ball of the third, fourth rather. Fourth string ends. A seven fill, just a 90 string. 418 through four. John at 491. A 73 pin insurmountable lead, you would think. Final string to start. Thanks for watching. We'll put the scores up in just a moment. John Scarborough will start his fifth string. Don't forget tomorrow night, the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Kenneth Mowing Network. Bob Lee, the executive producer of Kenneth Mowing Network, will be with me at number two, Exeter Lanes. Number two seed, Exeter Lanes, taking on Dave Hodge Manlihan's Academy 3. 7.30 start live on Kenneth Mowing Network on YouTube. Wi-Fi pending. We'll record it just in case. Kenneth Mowing Network in high definition on YouTube. John Lescarbo, final string underway. Pushes the four down. He's got the six right, seven left. We got the helicopter. Try to spin it over. We'll put the totals up after this box. Give it a try. Yeah. 
Going to the final string of the 10. Here's the fourth string. Box to box. And John once again with a terrific finish. He likes lane 14. Like Rob said, he loves lane 14. That's been true. He said slow starts every half, pretty much. Half was to right. Let's show it again real quick. Bob winning the first by 13. All John since. We have 143rd. It's been a tail of two halves for John, the second, third, and fourth. Literally. Good try there. Once again, just missed by one pin. Big test against next match against Ryan Southall at Riverwalk Lanes for John the Scarborough in his division as he gets a 9, 19 through 2. Energy 115.31. That will go up today. A little bit of drought of late, but 10 to 4 of a date leads yesterday. And a chance to win 12 points today if you can win the string. 10 minimum, more than likely. 1 3 6 10. Jeff Charlton watching from Maine. Which I hope to see you the Kennel Fence for Cancer Rollouts in Butwells in Concord, middle of late May. So, again, we just put that post out. The website is back up and running. It's a little technical snag. Candlepins number four, cancer.com is back up to donate via Venmo. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Roll up information in just a moment. John sliced and diced it for a nine, 28 through three, here in the fifth. Candlepins number four, cancer.com to register for the Candlepins for Cancer top five step ladder. It's made a step ladder final for the qualifiers. Any, all bowls are eligible regardless of what you bowled this year in the tournaments. It's going to be men's and women's individual scores. We take the top five men as John gets a nine drop. Top five men, top five women scores from the qualifiers individually will then pair up one with one, two with two, through five with five, June second. World dates May 14th, 16th, 18th, 25th, and 26th. Spare barrels through. We talked about campus for cancer. Someone gets a good shot for a spare or a strike. On the bonus, 3-1 split. 3 wobbling, 6-10, right, 7 left, so we can spin it over. 6 on the fill, 44 through 4. 4 is a wild for number 4, John Lascarbo. He got it! Back to back, what a shot for a spare, 54 half plus 1. He's four for six on single pin pickups today. The Spares and Bob Allard trying to get at least four points. Needs to win the string. Yeah. Allard, one, two goes down, one, six, ten. Gives him a chance. Again, that's candle pins number four, cancer.com. Sanford, Maine, Roloffs. Men and women, individual Roloffs. Then team of the top five men and women, like last year, second annual, Can't Help Us With Cancer, mixed step out of series, June 2nd, top five live show. Mike Moore will be on that one with myself and Greg Ria. $80 entry fee for shift, unlimited shifts allowed. Allen for spare, no. Missed the entry pin again. She has not a sharp. After a promising first string, it's gotten away since. And tied the string, box to box, chasing 54 plus one from the Scarborough. And that puts Bob's playoff chances in jeopardy now. Beautiful ball, eight, four and a seven, a plank to help. Should be a slam dunk, at least a layup. On lane 14, here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Spare! It's been his last two makeable spare chances after going 0 for 5. 
Just one spear in the fourth, one here now in the fifth. 20 in the ball through two, leads the string. He gets another mark of the fifth. He gets a spare the fourth and fifth. And just four that time. Plus the eighth until three make it. 23 through two. That's his lowest fill. Great try. Just missed a seven. Wanted that in the first ball. Out of the Sexes, May 21st here, 10 a.m. Same day as the Friday Night Pro League playoffs at Central Park Lane's East Boston Mass 10 a.m. That'll be on Kenneth Blowing Network on YouTube. Allen 9, 32, 28, up three, but up against a pair of spares. Allen, nice pocket shot for strike, nine. Leaves up the ten. Wood push down the eight. Double wood in front. He missed the wrong side. I think he's trying to do that. Another missed opportunity. Just two for six on pickups for spares on nine pin drop. There's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. Only three combined today. Ten, 42 through four. Down two in the string, up against a spare. Ballot, head been hit. Three, two split, two, four, seven. Right side, six, ten. Still wiggling. Give it a ride. Won't go. That close. Day for effort. Try and get to 52 through 5. And John's on a spare next. Going for three in a row. John has owned the second half since the first string. Of each string. If you missed it, watch it later today, this afternoon, or tonight on YouTube on Candlepin Bowling Network in high definition. Thanks to Bob Lee for putting that up. Eight, just a 50 half, down four, and it's up against the spare. Final five boxes to the match. Thanks for watching. Please get the word out about this great game of Candlepin Bowling. Nothing out there like it, a sport for all ages. It'll test your, your uh, spirit for sure. It's like golf. A lot of analogies. Drive you nuts, but it's a great game. You talk to the bowl before you sign off. John Mastarbro takes down six. One, two, four, seven. Four has been left. That's on a spare six. Sixty half. Up ten in the string. Match in hand. Got the middle pins. These are the one and ten. Two spare sixes here in the string. In the fourth and fifth box. And inside for field goal, eight box, 68 through six here in the final string of the match. John's high single, 188, high triple, 452, high five is 698. Currently a 111 league bowler out of Tilton, New Hampshire. Bowls at Buttwells in Conkin, New Hampshire. Nice ball strike for the third time today. Two in the fourth, one in the fifth. Try to get 12 points on the road. Trying to form a 124 league bowler. Won $1,800 for a bag of strike pull up the old Park Place lanes. Double strike bit here. It's nine. Four and seven domino go down together, but can't reach the nine. That close to a double. 
Fifth head pin hit. Plenty of wood to help, but he missed it. Nine in the strike for the second time in a row. One in the fourth. And that is a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. Never a good time for that. Ten. So 87 through 7, 97 the ball through it. He just shakes his head. And that keeps the door open for Bob Allen to win the string. Bob two marks behind. Very capable of winning. Back in the pocket. Another spread eagle. Lost count. I should probably track those from now on. Two, four, seven left on the right. Three, six, ten. A splitting headache. Same spot. It'll be a cruel game sometimes, can it? Chops out the object pin, a brutal five. What a funny game. Crushed a strike, a nine drop, missed it. Got a ten box, and then a five, 102 through nine. Also a softball pitcher. Joey's going sunflower seeds, hanging out with his friends and boating in the Lakes region. Full New Hampshire. Head pin hit, eight. Two in the four, wood to help. Seven for ten, the head pin. Going for his fourth mark for the fifth. He takes advantage, spare. 112 in the ball in the tenth. Try to get to 122. He's in the 600 club. Nice shot. Strike bid. 9 10 strike on spare. Wow. A big 20. What a performance by John Lascarbo. 122. A 62 second half. His worst half. The last four strings. 6 13 for the number four seed. John Lascarbo out of Butwells in Cockney, New Hampshire, here in Portsmouth. That's got to feel great. And a chance to go 22 and 6 in less than 24 hours after beating the former first time ACST championship winner, Nate Leeds, yesterday in Concord. Bob Allett needs a monster half. He's 73 just for four points. Nice shot there. Baby split. Three in the ten. Wood behind the three. Just his third head can hit the string. Needs a spare. Hit the wood, not the pin. So the ten would not go. John. Afterwards. It's the 10. Missed opportunity. 60 through 6. Four bucks for the match. Thanks for watching this great game. Again, don't forget the Friday Night Pro. They got a big, big match tomorrow night. Two playoff teams, Academy 3 at Extra 2. Live coverage, hopefully, on YouTube on Candle Promoting Network in high definition. Rebroadcast, if not, later on. 7 30 start tomorrow night. March 22nd. And Bob, look at this one. That kind of a day. 4 7 left, 5 9 middle, 10 right corner. Give that man a break. That's Tom Heinz when he the Celtics. Oh, give me a break. Love Tommy Heinz and Johnny Moe, Celtics announcers. Tommy Heinz a character, Johnny Most also. Bob. Ouch. Needs to mark out. We'll need a double strike more than likely to win the string. He do it without a double strike. He gets a six. 66 through seven. So he needs 66 in three boxes. 
Terry, I'll put the scores up at the end of each string. The scoreboard is just there. But it's hard to read on the screen, but we'll put the official scores up at the end of the string. Yeah. Allen, nice pocket shot for a strike. Nine. No strikes yet. That's the seventh nine drop of the match, second the string. He's only made two of six so far. Two piece of wood angled in front. Must get this. And it won't go. Unbelievable. Wow. Spinning tops. Head scratcher. Literally. Yikes. Second shot missed. Made another third. You know what that means. Not going to say it. Ten. Try and give it ten up there. Seventy-six to eight. Now needs a double strike for sure. Six on scoreboard. Okay, what should we broadcast later tonight on YouTube? On, on the today, later on this afternoon, on Canada Bowling Network on YouTube in high depth. Hit that subscribe button again. Always free, never a charge. Please get your friends involved also in this great game. Have them subscribed to our YouTube channel. Don't forget Canada Bowling Corner. Skins podcast also a broadcast in their podcast. Skins with Jordan Britton and Corey Lisi. Register for free also on Canelpin Corner as well. Allen for a spare. No. About the one and nine. These are three and six. And cannot win the string. John Rescarbo has taken 12 points, 22 and six. Last, less than 24 hours. Nine, 85 through nine. And Bob's great run has come to the end of the season in flux now. Still has time, though. He has six matches to go. They'll need a big finish. There's been a lot of good matches this year. But after that first thing, win by 13, it's gone all the other direction. Final box of the match. Great shot. He got it. Spare in the 10th. Second spear of the string. Great shot. Not giving up. 11 spears in the match. John, 14 spears, three strikes in the match. Beautiful ball. <laughs> Almost a spread eagle again. A 4 2 split. That kind of a match. 99 final string. Just 5 17. We'll put the official scores up. John gives Bob out a thumping 613 to 517. It was close for quite a while. But John, that 143rd string, put it away. Let's get the scores up, talk to the bowls before we sign off. In just a bit, let's zoom out here and get those scores on the screen. Hello, I'm Red Garth. All right, yep. Here we go. Let's show the uh, string by string first of all. We have to do portrait mode due to Facebook's elimination landscape mode. Let's go side by side here. Look at that third, fourth, second, third, and fourth for John Lascarbo. Just a clinic. The last four strings. John won, lost the first, 116, 103, then took it to Bob in the chin, 124, 105, 140, 107 to turn it around. Bob's still in contention, but. John, 124.90, and then 120.99. Final score, 6.13 to 5.17. A 12.2 win for John Lascarbo. Let's talk to the bowlers before we sign off. Excuse me, John. All right, John. Boy, what a 24 hours has been for you, huh? Well, 22 and 6. I'll take that. Yeah, you know, doing okay. Feeling mm -hmm. good. Keep giving you a good chance to clinch your division early. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Get some get some points now, and then I can coast into the playoffs. A little bit of a dip lately. Now you're getting back on track, it seems like. How yeah. Do you, how, do you how do you balance 10-pin bowling and candlepin bowling? Um, It only takes me a couple of boxes back in candlepin to get back to where I'm not overthrowing the ball, and I just got to keep myself slow and... Once I start screwing up, then I know I'm going too fast. i got to slow everything down a bit. But now You're just a house bowler for years and years and years, winning, averaging a league most of the time. Now, you, now you're doing Friday Night Pro League now, yeah. and now you're doing the ACST for the first time. Has that helped your game? 
Um, yeah, I think so, because you're bowling against better caliber bowlers, so you make yourself be better, you know? So You ever just down to one, only 107 in the Friday Night Pro League? What's been the challenge in the Friday Night Pro League? Is it the two boxes at a time versus the fives? I think it's the two boxes at a time. I prefer a five. I'm just a lot more comfortable doing that. So Don't tell Phil Clef that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, three-letter word for going 12 and 2. Wow. All right. So John Lescarbo takes it to Bob Allard, 12 points to 2. Final score, John Lescarbo, 6-13. Bob Allard, 5-17. From Bowler Armor, Sports Manager, Paul Grant saying so long for now. Thanks for watching this great game of Canlip and Bowling. <laughs>